and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Today we want to look at slings again. Slings is the old way to throw stuff, like rotating it and then throwing it. It's also called a David sling. Well, the force from that one comes from the rotational speed. You actually accelerate the bullet until it's in full swing and then you release it with the maximum speed. There's a very interesting Kickstarter project going on. There are people that try to use that swinging and slinging technology to shoot objects into the orbit. They call it a slingatron and um, they want to collect enough money to make a huge test device from it. Now, shooting stuff into the orbit with a slingshot technology, well, that sounds great. So I encourage you to take a look at that thing and maybe donate some money so that we can see it in action. But for now, let's look at how the Slingshot channel tackles that issue. So this is what I came up with. Actually, as you see, it's, a, um, it's two discs and inside it there is a, a blade that's once when I press the button on this power drill here. And the blade rotates with very, very fast speed. You can put in a 25 millimeter steel ball that later on will run between these tracks here. You can put it in here and then shoot it out with mighty force. <laughs> here is how this works. The ball is put into the beginning of the spiral and then the arm is turned by the power drill and you can see how the ball is picking up speed until it flies out. The other half of the spiral. So there is a spiral left and right to form tracks for the ball. One more shot. So this channel here brings the balls down in here into the uh, spiral. And um, actually I hurt my finger real bad yesterday because it came in contact with the blade. So I put a little bit of protection above it. Now what happens when we throw in three of these balls? One, two, three. Will it still be able to throw them? Like a giant shotgun? <laughs> Why is this thing so powerful? Well, simply because the acceleration is so long. I mean, the spiral here will in fact be 2 meters and 90, like 10 feet when fully stretched. So for 2 meters 90, the ball is constantly accelerated and uh, then it leaves the muzzle with very, very high force. It would be nice, of course, if I would add an automatic feeding mechanism so I could kind of feed the balls in while the blade is spinning because then I'd have a full auto launcher. I think the concept works great. Now, of course, we need to make it full auto and we also made, need to make it very big. Imagine a wheel like that, shooting bull balls, probably operated by a motorbike engine. <laughs> so many projects, so little time. Well, I hope you like this. Thanks and bye-bye. <laughs>